Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all safe and well. This is a very special unboxing. You've all seen the P51 Mustang. You've all seen the A1 Skyraider. You've all seen the Hawker Hurricane. You've all seen the Hawker Tempest. And now it's my great pleasure to present to you all the way from the Southern Hemisphere, Auckland, New Zealand, to the United Kingdom, FMS 800mm F4U Corsair version 2. And as I said, it came all the way from Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm really excited about it. Let's get inside this box and see what we've got. Right. Let's take a look at this baby. Okay, we have what I would consider to be rockets, because they'd be unguided. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rockets. Four for each wing. And there you have them. Looks like a submarine. Oh, I've waited such a long time for this. The hunt to find one as well is a story in itself. Put that back there. Take a look at the wing. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Look at this baby! Okay, so there might be a bit more work to do on this one. The uh, horns aren't on the ailerons. FMS 9 gram digital servos. One for each aileron, of course. The colour scheme is all paint. And the stars are decals, as is the lettering. Some sort of catch here for the undercarriage, which it looks like. Yeah, you push that in, pull that out, quick release, put your undercarriage in there, and then lock it in place. And this is for the big tanks, they slide on. Now, bear in mind, this is the second version of this. There's the wing in all its glory. Dinky little fuselage. Okay, here's the manual. An FMS manual. The new 800mm series. Look what it's got in it. It's got an FMS reflex stabilisation unit. Comes with it. Parts listings. Connecting your horns. I don't know if there's any gluing, there might be. I have to take a good old read of it. It's all English. Throughout. Aileron, rudder and elevator. 
controls. How to put your prop together. How to put your ordnance on. Where the centre of gravity should be. Here's the specifications. Let's lock those in place there for a while. Okay. What I haven't seen, while well, just glancing through this, are the throws. There we are. High rate, low rates. Elevator 10 millimeters either way. Low six. So I can go something like eight in between. Aileron 10 up down, low six. Rudder 12 left right, low seven. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Now when this says new, I don't know if it is new, it might not be a new product out, it might have been out for many many years. Let's see what I've got tucked away in here, ooh, they're nice, oh they're very nice. There's your wheels, exactly the same as the wheels on the Hobby King 800mm wingspans. A little C-clip there, so don't forget, if it's got a C-clip, you have to put a little bit of foam tack on there. But these look good, look, little scale details on them, won't focus. Little scale details on there. Yeah, quite nice, so you've got your undercarriage. You've got all your horns and clevises with rubber to hold them in place. You've got your four blade hub and a plastic spinner to put it all together. And it's a hub that is keyed into the motor. So that'll stop it from shaking loose. Let's get those out. So this is, oh, this is the horizontal stabiliser. Yeah, it looks like it's glued in because there's no screw holes there. And of course you have to flex it a lot. It doesn't look laminated either, so I will be putting my own on it. So it's either got uh, two wires going down to one servo, or it's got two servos. I doubt if it's got two servos, it'll be two wires. Yeah, nice. What's this up here? Oh, they're the tanks. There's two of them, very nice. Even got these little raised pieces to hold it in. Yeah, it's very nice. And that's on a plastic slide, so it just slides in. Two of those. Considering the distance this has been. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, wow. There's the front. A tiny bit of creased foam here. But I don't mind that, to say the least. It's the wing saddle. Looks like it's screwed in. Bit of peg going in through there and then it lies flat and you screw it in. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's even got a pilot in it. Look at that, a little pilot. And do you know what? It's a nice pilot. Could go back in the seat a bit. The 
here's the two push rods for the elevator. It's okay. Got a bit of a crease on the phone, but it's okay. It's all there still. I'm not worried about that. Little tail wheel does spin. Might need freeing up a little bit. It's only held on the axle with a actual bend on that axle. But I suppose it's steerable. Must be steerable. How do I get inside this? I don't know. Oh look, there. So I'll have to put some tape on that. It's held down with magnets. Yeah, lovely. Right. We have some FMS branded servos. Two push rods on each. One will do the rudder and the, the tail wheel. One will do both of these push rods for the elevator. Mass of wires here, my god. But they're all labelled throttle, sub PPS mode. These are exactly the same as the Hobby King ones. But can you see what's under there? That orange block is an FMS branded reflex gyro. Let's get these out. There's the JST connector for the battery. It is a 20 amp speed controller. I just couldn't wait to see what Hobby King brings, brings out because they take too long to do it. So I thought I'd grab myself something. And no, it wasn't purchased through Banggood. <laughs> I actually purchased it directly from the retail shop in Auckland. And it was free postage. Right, whatever you do, don't break your prop. I have a spare one coming, but this is not the same as the other 800mm. It is a single prop. You break that off, you're in trouble. Yes, I think with a little bit of jiggery pokery, I could get the A1 Skyraider full blade prop to work with this if I had to. And that has individual blades that can be replaced. But I have got another one of these coming. There she is. Commander Tex O'Neill's F4U Corsair. Really, really, really happy to have this in my hangar to go with the other 800mm Warbirds. I know some of them aren't quite 800mm, but we don't worry about that. The Mustang 750. Yeah. This is a Christmas present. So it's going to go all back in the box, get wrapped up again, and then it'll be unwrapped at Christmas. <laughs> so thanks for watching stay safe stay well and i'll see you on another video cheers oh well thank you so much we appreciate it a great deal now some of you some of you like listening to your christmas music with a little bit of guitar and then there's this whole other group of people that likes listening to their christmas music with a little bit of banjo Woo! oh yeah yeah i found you all right we know where you are so we're going to let these guys fight it out up here and see which one of those instruments win, all right? So here we go. <laughs> Yeah.
Wow. So how many of you thought the guitar won? How many of you thought the banjo won? How many of you thought Star Wars won? Maybe we should all go see a movie.